Our next step that we have to do on our apron are these facings here. Uh, it is a facing, but it's also going to be where we thread our tie. So we need to create a channel through here that we're going to thread our tie up and over, up and over and through this side here, and then we can tie it around behind our back. So to do this, we have to do the same thing we did as with the top pocket. We actually have to attach it here to get rid of the, the raw edge. So on this edge here, we're going to have to iron one centimeter. So just the one centimeter this time, not two. And we're gonna to have to bring these side pieces in as well to match up with, thing. I think I might've cut out the slightly too big um, facing for this one. So make sure you get the right size, but we want that to match up so that the edges are nice and even on each side. And we have to tuck these little bits in, but I'm gonna show you how to do the ironing over at the ironing board. Here's our facing. This is our bottom edge and our top edge. Our bottom edge is the longer edge. Our top edge is the shorter edge. This is the right side of the fabric. Remember this fabric has this like halo around the flowers and on this side, the wrong side, it doesn't have that. I'm gonna turn it over to the wrong side and I'm going to measure one centimeter from the bottom. So we're just gonna use, whoop, use the right end of the tape measure and we're gonna check one centimeter. So it's just the silver, the gold part. And I'm going to just go along and keep turning it that one centimeter. We'll come back and check that I've got it right. So that looks about right to me. One centimeter all the way along, correct. And then I'm gonna fold these corners in and I'm just gonna do what I call a finger iron to start with, because I'm gonna check that on the actual um, apron to make sure it's correct but that's what you're going to have it look like eventually we're going to tuck these little bits up but we'll do that when we pin it to our apron so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to pin this onto the apron that's the correct side that's the wrong side here we have our facing and our channel. So it's our facing and channel all at the same time, pinned onto the wrong side of the apron, on the back of the apron, but with the right side facing down. I've pinned it reasonably close to the edge. We're not going to give it a really big seam allowance here. And I've also pinned these extra flat pieces in, and we're gonna deal with them when we turn it to the other side. So we're gonna sew along this top section here and I put my pins around the wrong way, so I'm gonna fix those because we want our pins to be heading in our direction, like to be pointing at us. So I'm just gonna turn those around so that they're pointing the seat. When I turn this around, ready to sew, my heads of my pins are facing me and you want that. Okay, make sure your thread's behind. And we're just gonna place this on the edge here. Okay, so we're just gonna sew, we're not gonna put it on that first line. We're just gonna put it against the edge of the foot. Put our needle in. Don't forget to reverse. So we need to remember to reverse, go forward. Let's just reverse a tiny bit. And we're gonna sew just along this section here. It's about mm, three quarters of a centimeter, not a full centimeter. So we've just got the edge of the fabric near the edge of the foot there. Then we reverse, lift, needle, and cut. And we're going to go to, uh, so we're going to do the other side. So I'll just do that first. I'm going to go and do the other side. Do the same thing. Yes. Take out our pin. All the way along. Okay, so 
So we're going to go over to the ironing board again because we want to iron this open and flat and re-pin it on the other side. So we'll do that over at the ironing board. All right, so my facing is attached. I'm going to take these side pins out and make sure if you've got excess threads that you just trim them off. And we're going to turn this that way. So we're going to push it that way and we're going to iron. Iron, iron. And we'll do the same on this side. Push it out and iron. Out like that. We're going to turn the apron over to the correct side. And we're going to fold this down. And we're going to iron again. Now this facing does not need to be a different color. It can be the same color. We're just gonna tuck that corner in like that so it's nice and neat. And we're going to pin. Now we need to leave this end open. That end is gonna stay open. Just gonna get that sitting nicely. And we're going to pin right along this edge. I'm gonna push this little bit in here, just inside there. So that it isn't all yucky and in the way and we want this nice don't want it peeking out there we go nice sharp edge there okay so you can see you can see we've got this edge pinned and this edge pinned and I'm gonna put one more pin in the middle here and we're gonna sew right on this edge like really close and we'll do the same on this side. So we're gonna fold it over. Fold it over. I'm gonna give that edge an iron. Give that edge an iron so it's nice and flat. And we're gonna fold this edge in. Fold that in. So that it doesn't show. And we're gonna pin that. Pins keep everything from moving. You need the pins. Now move this over, tuck it in. Okay, there we go. Fold that there. And then another pin here. When we sew, tuck that a little bit more. I don't like it poking out. There we go. Now, we're going to sew along that edge and along this edge. And that will be our channel that will be for our apron tie. Okay, we'll get back to the sewing machine and we'll sew that. Right, let's sew this. So we are going to do this pinned edge first because that way we have it nice and secure. I'm just gonna repin that. I'm gonna get my edge underneath my needle, lower my foot and get my needle in before I pull out my pin. Now it is secure, and I'm gonna sew right along this edge. Give this a pull so it doesn't get stuck. There we go. And I'm keeping the edge of this fabric, once again, along the edge of the gap in this foot, in the presser foot. We're really close to the edge. You could do two rows of stitching here if you wanted to. A bit decorative and a bit of a chance to like make it a bit stronger. Um, I'm not gonna do that for this edge though. I'm just gonna go all the way to here. Don't forget your reverse. Get as close to the edge as you can and then reverse. You have to do the reverse at the start and the finish because this needs to be strong. Cut, put your thread back through. Cut this edge, this bit off. And I'm going to sew just along this top edge as well. Okay, nice and close to the edge here, keeping it in line with that little line in the centre of the line. Press it through. Okay, reverse. the other end right, and now we just have to do so there we go there's our channel 
that's where we're going to thread our tie when we're done with our tie. So I'm just going to do the other side as well. Just watch me do it again. Here we have our facings all done and we also have our channels. So all in one movement, we've created a channel to thread our tie through on both sides and it matches up with really nicely with the rest of our um, design for this apron.